Okay. And here you have user interface. You can change the dialogs, everything. And if you want to add it as a path variable, any path variables, or do you want to add this as a code upgrade or a release or a patch design, these are the other options that you have. And here you have direct editor. In additional tools, you have direct editor. This is like just like a database table where you have all the information that you need. So if you want to add any custom uninstallation, it does the uninstall. But if you want to do any custom uninstallation, like while it is uninstalling, you want it to delete anything else, you would add the files in file table, respective files, what you want to delete, and any other change. So these are high level. So the basic is project assistant tab right in here, and then fill in all the information. Because we have selected build installation single executable, we can save build installations. Or we can even select this option which builds automatically. So once it is building, you see right here it is loading files, building file tables. So it creates a .exe file for us. So now you can see the the build has been uh, created. Setup .exe is created as you can see here. We have zero errors and three warnings. So those three warnings are about. Uh, they are just warnings, so you can ignore warnings. It would say that um, one of the warning is you need to create a tag, create a identity, identity file, something related to that. So when you go into tools and you say the open release folder, let me just refresh this one. Okay, you say tools, open the release folder right in here. It uh, redirects us to the setup.exe file. This is the .exe file that has been created for us. Okay, let me just save it as a backup. And the other option that you can see, the other way to navigate us, is I see install shield 2012 projects, eclipse, go to product configuration, release one, disk images, disk one, setup. This is the file that it is redirecting us to. So install shield creates a .exe file right in here. Let's test it. Minimize. You can rename the setup file to whatever you want. Or say testing. So now double click on it to install. Okay. This setup was created with an evaluation version of install shield. Okay. Because we have used uh, a trial version. If you have the serial key, you would you won't uh, see that menu popping up saying that you have used a trial version. If you have the serial key, please use the genuine serial key from Flexera. Okay, and then welcome to the install shield wizard of the Eclipse. We have not changed any dialogue, so click next. The license agreement just selected the default, so to accept. The next is enabled. Username is AS, organization Microsoft complete. And then install. So it would be installing us in that particular folder. Once my installation has finished, uh, you see you have task created one from me on the desktop, the shortcut that you have selected. Click finish. Verify the shortcut that's on the desktop. And it's uh, gathering the information and launching the .exe file for us. It's launching Eclipse. See, the shortcut is working okay now i click on start because we have used one more shortcut so click on all programs start up here i see gato and then eclipse so here is the shortcut so it is also created a program for us right here so when you click on it as well it, do, it does the same thing as a shortcut but instead it uh, is in the startup menu okay so it's loading so also both our shortcuts are working now click on start my computer to verify the pro folder structure. See program file 86. We have cut to and eclipse. So this is the eclipse folder structure that you see. So we have successfully installed. Because we have left everything in the default structure, let's see how the insta uninstallation works. Click on uninstall, control panel, programs, uninstall. We have eclipse. Click uninstall. And then are you sure you want to uninstall? Yes. So it will be removing all the files for us. 
so it has to remove the desktop shortcut the startup shortcut and the program file structure that we have mentioned this is the uic control say yes uh, in the uic control it says unknown if you do this you can even uh, include a certificate you can include a certificate into it and then okay the installation has been successful let's just verify see i don't see the shortcut and in here all programs i don't see any get to folder writing here okay and then go to my computer to verify whether folder structure has been removed program files i don't see any get to so select and g only go i don't see anything else so the uninstallation was successful so we have created a basic msi project i hope it helps I have uh, been using the trial version just for the tutorial. Please uh, buy a serial key from Flexeria software website directly. Do not buy serial keys from any uh, torrents or any uh, restricted websites which are which we are not supposed to download from the Flexeria. Install Shield is a very good software to create uh, standalone applications, uh, installs as well as webs. I hope this tutorial is helpful. Uh, thank you.